<laughs> Let me show you its features. You didn't give me your huh? name, did you? You didn't give me your, any Peter. one of your names, did you? Peter. Peter. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, yes, that's my fake name. After my last barrage of calls to these scammers, they shut down their fake phone number in an attempt to mitigate the rapidly increasing exposure of their scam. A few days later, though, they were reconnected and back to their old tricks, once again pretending to be employees of the Potomac Edison Energy Company. These particular scammers would scare victims with the threat of shutting off their power in 45 minutes if a wire transfer payment for bogus outstanding electric bills was not made to them over the phone. Let's call them back, shall we? Thank you for calling Potomac. This is Jason Martinez speaking. How may I have your assistance? This is who? Jason Martinez. Oh, hey, yeah, I was trying to find a parking spot up front, but they're all taken up. A what? A parking spot. Parking spot? Yeah, you're in Miami, right? Miami? That's correct. No, sir. Where are you at? Excuse me? Where are you at? Thank you so much for calling. I'm your assistant call. This is who are you speaking. Yeah, you pieces of shit are back up in operation, huh? You some motherfucker, no matter. You hear me? Thank you very much for holding this. Lucas speaking. This is who? Lucas. Lucas, how's it going there? I'm okay, sir. How can I assist you? Yeah, I was trying to, uh, got this notice. I need to pay my bill, you know. You want to pay your bill? Yeah, I'm trying to pay my bill. I've We had the backlog, um, you know. We've been trying to go the nuclear power route, but we still got to pay this billion. Do you have an account number? Yeah, we're going to be switching over to the, uh, we we're trying to get it from the nuclear power plant, but um, still got to pay this bill, you know. Exactly. What? I said exactly. Right, 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 right. So um, are you guys going to be switching over to nuclear as well, or? Can I stay with you yes, guys? Yes, sir. Oh, you are, huh? Yes, sir. We're going to all switch. Oh, okay. Um, what about, uh, I was looking more into some solar, too. We could get some solar plants going there, you know? Yes, we even have weed plant as well. Weed plant? Yes. Oh, are you, like, gonna be the, you like smoking it's gonna that? Be the new, it's, no, 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 no. So I don't smoke. But it's going to be the new higher electricity Oh, how does that work? You just burn the plants, and then all the smoke goes up into the up into the feeder there. Electricity, so, correct. So if you if you get the new power with the whip with the wheat plants, so uh -huh. not only you will get the power, but you also will be able to have all your family high. Well, that's perfect. That that sounds great for me. You know, that's what no I've problems. that's what I've been looking forward to. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes? Yeah, who's this? Who's this? No, I asked you. Stuff, Don't you work for Potomac Edison? Huh? Huh, bud? Thank you for calling. This is John. How can I assist you? You yeah, called about uh, needing some assistance with your water heater. I do what? With your water heater? We don't work with water, sir. We work with electricity. Power, not water. Right. You called okay. about needing some assistance, right? So do you still need some Fuck assistance? You. Fuck yourself. Sir. Huh? Do you or yeah. not? Fuck yourself. Huh? I'm calling the billing department. This is Jason Martinez you speaking. How may I be of assistance? Hey, Jason. Uh, my power went off, and now I'm up here on the roof. I don't know what to do. Throw yourself from there. Just throw off. Throw yourself down. But yeah, I have a just throw off. I have a lake there though. I wouldn't land on the ground, you know. <laughs> I just kind of dive right in. People calling Porto Mac Edison. This is Peter. How can we help you? Peter. Uh, yeah, I need to switch over to the nuclear. You need what? I need to switch over to the nuclear power from you guys. Okay, you want to be at the nuclear power? Yeah, well, someone else said I could switch over to the weed power, too. I don't know what's the better route to go, you know. 
I don't know which one you like, the weed, the dough, the coke, I don't know, it's up to you. Oh, the, the coke, no we can go for the coke or maybe a kilo of that to start, see how that burns. That might burn efficiently, right? There you go. I that, go where, 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 where you need to be. Is hell. that better than the weed for energy? Their number once again went down for about a day after this. When I finally got through to them again, their stolen phone menu recording had changed and they had shifted from pretending to be Potomac Edison to National Grid, a similar East Coast energy company. These assholes really go the distance. I think it's only fair that I should, too. Welcome to National Grid. Here with you, here for you. If you are moving, setting a meter, or calling about an <laughs> appointment, grid. press 1. For collections, past due or credit-related matters, press 2. Thank you for calling National Grid. Carmen, how can I help you? Oh, Carmen, I thought you were Potomac Edison, huh? You guys are little rookies down there, aren't you? They caught on quick this time, as no one answered my incessant phone calls after this. As far as scams go, this particular electric bill scam is on the more believable end of the spectrum. Still, you should never wire money to anyone you don't know, and if you get a call with threats demanding immediate payment over the phone, it's a scam. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked the video, go give it a share, and I'll see you next week for a two-part series with some shady scammers at the airport who had a little $6 million present just for me. Cheers.